What's going on, boys? We're up to four subscribers <laughs> and two comments and one like. I've memorized all the engagement on this channel so far. Welcome back. This is the channel where boys become high value men. This is where self improvement happens, where you become the best version of yourself. Guaranteed. What's poppin'? All right, Saturday, it's now Monday. Saturday was my first Muay Thai sparring session. So obviously, shin guards on, you're supposed to have a mouth guard. I didn't bring one, so that didn't end so well. And it's like an hour rotating opponents at my gym. Super fun, really interesting experience. I'm gonna tell you all about it today because if you're an aspiring top G, you need to be able to fight. I think it's a skill anyone in life should have. Man, girl, whatever you are, I think you should learn to fight because you never know when you're gonna need it. Anyways, I've been going to Muay Thai and martial arts on and off for about a year now. Muay Thai has been consistent since around August of last year. It's now April. So I thought, you know, it's time to hop in the sparring. The teachers are technically supposed to invite you, I think, but I was like, I'm just gonna show up. They're either gonna tell me to fuck off or I'm staying. And that's what happened, I stayed. I showed up, no mouth guard. The guy was like, yeah, I know, we can't let you spar, go, go hit your friend. My friend was with me, so we just kind of fucking messed around. But then, you know, we were so adamant that we wanted to spar. We like asked the instructor, like, come on, like test us out, like, let's go. So the instructor who is a fucking beast, who's had fights himself was like, all right, spar me. We'll see if you have control. He's going at like 10%, literally like 10% speed. Like you can see his punch coming, but he still fucked us up. I think I did okay. And it was enough to prove to him that I had control and that maybe against someone who's not a demon like him, I could hold my own. So he lets me, he tells me to bring a mouth guard next time. And that if the owner of the gym sees me, he'll probably kick me out. But he kind of hints and he's like, as long as you don't really fuck up, just do what you gotta do and don't let anyone see. So I hopped in the sparring. It's a great time, rotating opponents. First guy, he's pretty good. He gets the better of me. He's throwing a lot of inside leg kicks. My thigh is getting fucked up. I got a few jabs to the face. He had headgear on, I didn't. I didn't have a mouth guard either. It was rough. My nose is still sore from Saturday from being jabbed right here. I had a cut on my chin that was bleeding. But it was like, it was a fun fucking time, man. If you've never sparred, it's it's more fun than scary. Until I got to my third opponent, but, that, but that's later. Second opponent, I felt I was better than him. He was obviously newer than me even. Somehow he was in the sparring. And yeah, I think I did really well against him. He got a few good kicks on me, a few good knees. I caught a lot of his teeps and then just jabbed them in the face. That's like my favorite move now. So I was doing a lot of those. Then we get to opponent three. Opponent three was a fucking big ass jacked black dude. He'd been doing Muay Thai for three years or something like that. We start sparring. He was on the hunt. He wanted to kill me. There is no going easy at sparring to some people. So I had a rough time there. I don't think I landed any good punch, any good strike against this guy because he could just see it coming. I took some really hard, stiff teeps to the chest and to the stomach. So, and I just went flying backwards like. Anyways, he landed a really hard right to my face that kind of had me disoriented. That's why my nose is still, still sore from Saturday. I was seeing stars after that. I had to take a minute out, drink some water because he landed hard right to the face. No headgear, no mouth guard, first time sparring. He apologized to me. I was like, bro, it's all good. That's how we learn, don't worry about it. But opponent four is where I learned a lesson about life. Opponent four was it, like he was a jacked guy as well. Fucking beard down to here. Real masculine looking man, bald head, massive arms, guns of steel. Looking like Terminator, like bro was gonna kill me. Anyways, he was a nice guy as well. We start sparring. I get a few good lands on him, but eventually, cause you have to do the technique class before the sparring. So it's like a two hour sort of activity. It would been, it had been a long week of work. 
my my focus slipped for a second and in that second i experienced my first like moment of terror like first moment of fear that i felt in a really long time i'm not a fearful person like i don't fear a whole lot i get anxious i get nervous sure but i don't feel fear like real impending doom that often but on saturday for like three seconds while i lost my composure i did my focus just slipped for a second it was like my last spar of the day i was like a little tired i just you know i just like kind of zoned out for a second and the thing is i realized i was zoning out and i couldn't stop it and my eyes just kind of glazed over and i was like fuck imagine if this happened like in real life thankfully he didn't like hit me or anything during that too bad i was able to kind of snap myself out of it and get my hands back up but imagine that happened like in the street in real life against a real person i would be dead i'd be so dead so it just woke me up to the fact that i have to train my focus like like I have a new appreciation for the fighters in UFC or boxing who go, you know, six rounds, five minutes, five rounds, five minutes, whatever, of just pure laser focus, tunnel vision with a crowd roaring all around them. And they don't lose focus for a second because if they do, lights out. And I felt my first taste of that for a second. I, I lost focus for a second. He kind of throws a few wake ups at me and I'm like, if that was a tougher opponent, I would be sleeping. So the lesson here, don't fall asleep during sparring, bring a mouth guard to the next practice. And if you are a young man aspiring to be the best version of yourself, I implore you, I encourage you, go to your local fight gym, get in the ring. I'm gonna be signing up for a fight, I hope sometime soon in my life. I have a few other things I wanna do first, but I will step in the ring one day and it will be glorious. Anyways, if you like Hamza, you like Tate, you like CEO of Testosterone, this is the channel for you. This is where young people hustle to become the best versions of themselves. And that was my first experience with Muay Thai sparring. More to come. Hopefully I can get some actual sparring footage for the next video. Peace.